What makes one website sell more than the competition? Most likely consumers go with online stores that provide high-class customer experience to easy the buyer journey. In, in today's Elementor video tutorial, I implement and design a product page template with some unique features such as image hotspots, FAQ, additional metadata with the ACF plugin, a wishlist feature with the dynamic content for Elementor under 15 minutes. Let's go! Hey, welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, I welcome you. My name is Natalie. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. If you want to support this channel, make sure you smash the like button or subscribe to the channel so I keep producing free videos for you. Here is my plugins list. Advanced Custom Fills the Pro version to create an ACF repeater field. An ACF repeater field is recommended when you need to add repetitive content. The free ACF version doesn't have that option. Dynamic content for Elementor to make a to wishlist button and an image hotspot feature. Elementor free and pro to make our single product page template commerce as part of my online shop. I want to provide more logical and detailed information that will help my customers to get a complete engaging experience in my store. I have a custom field called About. Under the Rules section, I have determined to show up these fields inside my e-commerce products list. Next, click on Head Field button. Inside there, the label is About, and then press the Tab keyboard to insert it in the next field name. In the field type section, I defined a repeater field since we want to have repeated content for our single product page template. Inside the repeater, we must determine the subfields to be repeated. So I click on the head field. As you are figuring out, they are nested inside the about field. The first one is called trait. And then press the tab, the tab from your keyboard. The field type is text. I added a new one. This time I called key as a text field. And the last subfield is called grow as my online store is about plants. Publish. The next move is to fill in these fields within the WooCommerce products. I choose this field. So click on all products menu and decide which product you want to use. If you scroll down, you'll find out the ACF fields. Here they are, my three ACF fields. To fill in is quite simple. All you have to do is to click on each one and write down your content data, as I'm doing here. OK. The next step is to create inside Elementor my single product page template. Move over to Template menu and click on Head New. Then select the type of template. I selected a single product template and I call it single product loop and click on create templates. Inside Elementor, we begin from scratch. So close down Elementor library. And it's a good practice to define Elementor design layout. So click on the settings icon down below. Under the preview settings, I determine I want to pull in the data from the same WooCommerce product I have filled earlier. Thus, write down here the product name and then press Apply and Preview button. First things first, I had the two columns element of section. On the left hand side, I want to place my product image. Click on the plus sign to add the widget. I do a quick search for the feature image from the dynamic content for Elementor. It's a great plugin. I use it all the time in order to get more features and functionalities. It allows you to dynamically add an image with a variable width depending on the device. You also are able to decide on the file format. You can change the margin and the rounding. You can enable the background mode to stretch the image properly and you can create overlay overlay effects. In the content tab, I insert a light greenish color. On the right hand side, I will pull in all the logical and detailed information so my user don't get confused about the products. I drag in a taxonomy title widget from Dynamic. After a few moments, the product title has been placed. 
The next widget I want to use is the star rating. In recent years, reviews of a product or a service became one of the most important purchase decision factors. So I drag into Elementor Canvas. The next widget is the product price and the head to cart widgets. They are essential part of any online shop. In a few clicks, the dynamic data has been pulled in from the WordPress database. Then I head in the additional information widget to bring in the ACF content data. Now use the ACF repeater widget from the dynamic plugin. Just drag into the canvas. Under the ACF repeater field, I determine to bring in my about ACF and then click on the head item button to select my ACF subfields. Inside the subfield section, I enter my three ACF subfields. This is a very straightforward procedure. The second subfield is labeled, labeled as key. Under the subfield, I determine that it is a text field type. To add a new subfield, just click on the duplicate icon inside the subfield. The last one is grow as a text field type. I select it from the drop-down list. As you can see from the right-hand side, the content data has been pulled in. Click now on the screen and the skin option to get the rendering options. This dynamic widget enables you to get the content data by using one of these formats as a text, a list, a grid, a mensary, a carousel, a table, or a cartoon. Show you the table and the accordion options. For example, you can use the accordion option to display the data as a FAQ section. Let's first try the table rendering option. On the right hand side is the table final version, well aligned. You could stylize it further by going to the style tab. I want to keep this video simple, so I leave that for you. Accordion rendering works this way. You just need to replace what's within the brackets with your own ACF field type. By doing so, it will use the ACF field as an accordion heading. So I highlight the whole content data and I insert my ACF field to serve as an accordion heading. Check now on the right hand side. If I click, I get the accordion reply. You can use icons as you are watching. With the list rendering option, you can go between order or unordered lists with icons on the left on the, or the right hand side. Now I had in an Elementor in a section. I want to design a custom shipping section. The goal is to show you one simple idea to further display relevant information for your customer inside the product page. Let's proceed. Under the layout, I determine 18 pixels height. I also added a white background to the Elementor section. The next move is to add in an icon box widget. I replace to a shipping icon. Under the content tab, I decided about the icon position to be left side. In the style tab, I corrected the icon color so it fits my design. I'm looking here for consistency. Then I duplicated the widget and I dragged in to the right column and I changed the icon and the HTML tag. Now I had in an Elementor Spacer widget with a 50 high space. I want to add social share buttons to let my customers share goods they like with others and spread the word about my products. I dragged in the Elementor social sharing widget and I tweak the colors and the icon size. The next move is to add a, wish, a who wish list. I drag in another Elementor inner section. By using the Elementor navigate to select things, the head to card widget, and then I copy it and paste it inside the column. Then I deleted the hold, a hold one as I don't need it anymore. Then I had in the head to who wish list widget from dynamic to the second column. I tweak the icon from the library and if you click, you get this text remove from wishlist button. You need to set your wishlist page in order to be properly configured. We are almost done. Next, I want to add an image ad spot into my product page template. 
In some use cases, is it helpful to provide this feature to attract more customers? I had in a new one column section with 500 heights. I drag in a hotspot widget. I select the image I want to use. Within the Content tab, I define under the Hotspot section the label and the tooltip text to be displayed. In the next Position tab, you define its position. It's quite simple. Drag the sliders to offset within the usual orientation, the X and the Y for the vertical alignments. In the Hotspot settings, you can stylize further the color, the text color, the box width and the spacing. You can make use of animations inside the Hotspot. You have Overlay, Expand or None. The Overlay is self-explanatory or the soft bit like this. Prefer not to use as it affects the loads. To add a new hotspot, you just have to duplicate. Click on the duplicate icon. Inside the position tab, adjust its position by using the, the sliders. The first slider is the horizontal position, and the following one is the Y or the vertical position. I have duplicated once more to show you the possibilities you can use. For the last one, I inserted an email link so my customer gets all information they need to. Template should also offer product data tabs to display product description. It's an essential part of a product page. You should be definitely include all information about product purpose, material use, shapes, sizing, in order to persuade them and increase the, des the desire of owning. You are convincing them to make a purchase. Then offer them product recommendations. Show them relevant items with the goal to motivate them to take a certain action. Okay, good as it is. Let's save the template. Inside elemental conditions to display the template I choose to use on my products. To finalize, click on save and close. Your product page template should be mobile friendless, which means to be adaptable for mobile users. This is the era of responsive designs. There are recommendations. Keep the design simple and structured. Think out the navigation carefully in order to boost your website conversions. Let's check now. The navigation is correct. I reduce the text title size. There you go. I central align the star rating, the add to my wish list widget, as well as the social icons. As for the image hotspot, I decided to hide for mobiles under the advanced tab. Keep it simple. We conclude the design of the product page. The success of e-commerce store depends on multiple factors, starting from the specific e-commerce features you provide to them. I really hope it was helpful to you. You don't need to watch a two hours video tutorial to design your template. Thank you so much for watching. I catch you on my next one. Bye bye.